Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. Now you've been seeing a lot of increase of Asian lady beetle activity in your home. Well, today's video I'll be talking about why that might be and also some prevention tips you can use to make sure that that doesn't happen next season. So stay tuned. Now, one thing that we find that happens in a lot of people's homes is as it transitions from winter to spring and spring to summer, you might be noticing a lot of increased activity of Asian lady beetles in your home or basically ladybugs in and around your home. Now, one of the major reasons this can be happening is more and more people are looking for different options of natural pest control. And Asian beetles typically tend to be a good option for that, but unfortunately there's also some negative consequences that can go along with that as well. Now, one of the major food sources for Asian beetles are aphids, which are little tiny insects that are gonna be feeding on uh, crops that, so as, spring and summer start to get into full swing more and more crops go up more and more aphids are out and again left unchecked without predators in place for these asian beetles their numbers continue to multiply throughout the spring and summer and late fall but typically what happens is anytime there's a major season change or temperature shift or a big change in the environment, pests are gonna look for a new place to live because they're gonna need food, water, and shelter to survive. And typically what'll happen is as the, their numbers increase during the late summer and fall, once those crops have been harvested, they kind of lose that food and shelter source from the aphids and the crops. Well, now they're gonna be looking for a new place to live and survive throughout the winter months. So certainly a portion of these Asian beetles are going to die off as winter approaches, but another big majority of the population are going to actually get into places like your home and they can then nest throughout the winter months in your home. So these Asian beetles are going to hibernate throughout the winter, but typically you're not gonna necessarily see them in your home. You might see one or two here and there throughout the fall months, but during winter months, they're gonna hide in cracks and crevices, wall voids, attics, place you're not really frequently in your home on a regular basis. So when they're left unchecked, even throughout the winter months, they can continue to breed because they're in that warmer temperature and space throughout your home uh, if they're not hybrid. And so then what happens as temperatures warm up in the spring months, a big population in the fall months that have transitioned into your home can turn into big outbreaks in your home come springtime. So if you're seeing a lot of activity right now as it's spring, that probably means that a large amount of numbers got into your home come fall and winter time and they've been left unchecked throughout the winter and now they're starting to come out and cause issues in your home. So, you know, it's probably too late at this point to do any prevention means to keep that from happening, but you can do prevention means for next season and then as well as have your home treated for these pests right now with the issues that are going on currently. So, Again, typically Asian beetles, they're friendly. They're not gonna do a damage to your home. They're just kind of more of a nuisance in a number scale flying around. But at, like I said, as they've been left unchecked throughout the winter, coming out in emerging springtime, they can start to be problematic in your home. So again, some different prevention steps that you wanna take within your home to prevent this from happening next year is going to be focusing on exclusion, which is basically sealing entry points around your home. So sealing off cracks and crevices, uh, underneath door gaps, window gaps, if you have dryer vents on the outside of your home, exhaust fans that are going outside of your home, if those don't have covers or screens on it, you might need to put those in place. And then also making sure that you seal those entry points and those cracks around your home. Uh, again, unfortunately, it's not really a 100% solution overall where, again, you can develop cracks in the foundation of your home that may be underground or hard to reach places or just places you might miss in general. So again, it's not necessarily a perfect solution by sealing these entry points. But unless pests are already in your home, the issues are gonna come from the outside. So the better job you can do of sealing your home, the less issues you're gonna have in the long run for pests around your home. 
So we also recommend though setting up a barrier treatment of pest control product around your home. So as these pests are crossing that threshold throughout the year, they're gonna die off very quickly and they're not gonna be able to nest and hibernate or build up their numbers in your home during the off seasons. And then like you might experience now where these lady beetles and Asian beetles are gonna come out of hibernation and start causing problems in your home. So again, sealing those entry points, having a barrier treatment of product around your home and then obviously if you already are having current issues in your home having a pest control service come out to treat for that to reduce and get rid of the numbers that are currently in your home and then again focusing on the back end of those prevention steps to prevent them in the long run and next season so again hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video if you did feel free to comment and share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet to stay up to date on the latest pest control tips and tricks to keep your home pest free but then also if you are looking for a current pest control service to treat your home be sure to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com and then also as a first time customer with us you can reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and just fill out your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So if you're a brand new customer, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount or an existing customer and you need a new service with us, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.